Gracias, 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 Garcia, gra Gary's a whore. Gary's a whore. <laughs> Gary. Gary's a whore. Gary. 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 Yo, we finally Ugh. witnessed. We we she's been oh. hitting at it, but we finally we finally watched Ashley become the villain. We all hoped she would. It's true. Sexual assault and all. Sexual assault and all. <laughs> I'm wearing my socks on the wrong feet. What? Are you? One says R and one says L, and they're on the wrong side. We've bottomed out. <laughs> We've bottomed out. Um, like me at three in the morning with Piano Cat. It's bottomed out. <laughs> Y'all, this is Below <laughs> Deck Sailing Yacht. BDSM. Episode, season three, episode 12. A new girl abroad. New aboard, girl aboard. aboard. New There's girl aboard. a new girl aboard. She's gonna fuck it up. Yeah, yeah. The new girl aboard. What song was that that you were? Same one. Um, <laughs> I riffed. Okay. I thought I thought was that, that was an existing song. Oh that's no, why no, no. I, asked. Uh, I, was, I was like, new girl in town. Yeah, that's what whoa, I was whoa, that. whoa, yeah. whoa. There's a new girl in town. Uh, who's that by? Uh, that's from Hairspray. Yes! Yeah, that's my hairspray. Uh, Scarlet. This is, is the whitest kids in town, or the... the no, it's just baddest. the new girl in town. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Um, Scarlet. She's going to be the best addition to the show we never knew we needed. And she's... I'm just here for good vibes. Y'all, that like, means... And she's also a little bit Southern, because yeah. she's from... Ar she's from, from... Arkansas. She's from dipshit Arkansas. But she's really from, I think, Cal... They moved she to California. from San Diego. But she said, uh, which, y'all, she's 100% people from San Diego, meaning that, like... She, no, no, I think she that was the last place she was stationed. She's been no, in... No, I thought she said, I'm from Arkansas, but I've lived in San Diego since I was young. I don't think she said that, because she has a full-on uh, Southern accent. She doesn't. Okay, that makes sense, because I was confused then. She's been living there, working on But boats. she is from San Diego, and that everyone from San Diego that Such I know that vibes. lives... They talk about good vibes, and they're all about that beach life. They really I, love I like the that beach, beach life. life. They fucking love the beach life, and which I that's the point of San Diego. Yo, I've I said like San Diego. I've said this before. You need to avoid people who have good vibes only. You need to avoid uh, avoid them like the plague because they will not validate any feeling that you have. Well, good vibes only in San Diego from. Uh, from someone like Scarlett means I'm down to fuck. And I'm down to smoke weed with you on yeah, your boat. Yeah, that's what that means. <laughs> Gary enjoyed hearing that. Well, listening to the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Yes. What I enjoyed about this episode is everyone behaved in the tropes that we hoped they would. Gary literally became a howling wolf from yes. a Looney Tunes cartoon. <laughs> oh, woo! Oh, woo! Ashley just became this like bitter vulture trying to yes. peck at Scarlet <laughs> any way she can. Daisy is just this pissed off rhino just wanting to charge everyone. I enjoyed it. I this is the keep talking. I gotta is, fix my socks or it's oh gonna bother god. me. What why? Oh god. This is when the show really hits its stride. When we get into all of the things that people really want to do, and it shows the yeah. worst of, and the best of all of them, strangely. Best? Barna Defi Barnaby. Defi best. Well, that's true. Barnaby's trying to get out. He's like, I don't want to work too hard. Uh, yeah. I want to have fun. Because he's about that yacht life. I'm about that yacht he life. He literally is the announcer from Yacht Rock in person. <laughs> if y'all, if you're, if you're a serious person, you Barnaby. know you like some Yacht Rock. I love Yacht Rock. Okay, let's just jump in. We, I was going to say, you guys, they are setting the seas. We are flying the friendly skies to London. Oh, yes. Across the pond. We are. If we're you, very excited. We're trying to get a... We're, we're Scared, our, nervous. Our podcast agency has... <laughs> quickly <laughs> signed us up that's to, why i'm to scared speak in a panel I, i'm not like uh hey, i'm just gonna wing it small-minded american <laughs> of i'm scared to travel no i'm not scared to travel it's just this is happening this is our biggest thing yet to be i would say not for fans but we're gonna be kind of introduced to a different podcast community and i think what i would think of as a more serious podcasting community <laughs> 
I doubt it. But no, I'm saying saying not serious as in like serious, but like bigger stakes. Oh, professional. People, that's yes. what I mean. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. We're going to be completely out of our league. We're going to be actual clowns. We're just going to be <laughs> mincing American Nancys. Yeah. So um, I'm 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 begging that you don't say anything that's gonna make us look like fools. Oh, I think we'll I think they'll be fine. <laughs> I think I'm we'll just, do well. I can only imagine. It's um, gonna be it's gonna be great. We don't know. Uh, we don't even know what. It's weird because it's like you're saying, "Hey, let's just take a weekend trip and get in the car and drive and go and see what happens." But we're doing that in London. Like, yeah. we know we're doing this panel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know, uh, y'all, we don't know what time. We don't know if we're going to be at this conference the whole time. We don't know if we're going to, like, have time to explore London. P- there's one thing that's certain. We're doing the conference. And, and I've changed my grinder yeah. settings. And Poodle's going <laughs> to fuck guys in Britain. On my venture settings. Yes, yes. On yes, my yes. Uh, travel Yes. That the, that was arranged last week. When I, yeah. The day I found out. The day, he was like, whoop. <laughs> Fix that. And it's like me with a little bobby hat on. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. Or the Buckingham Palace Guard. Uh, wow. I have I have one for every nation. <laughs> I don't. Please don't look like Ari in some of your when photos. I, when just I go to the Netherlands, the wrong... it's me and one of those girls' hats with, yeah. with wooden shoes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. That's in Spain. I'm a bullfighter. Okay, not appropriate. <laughs> All right, we're please take the podcast off it's your like profile. Paper dolls. Okay, just get into whatever. No, uh, whatever their national costume is. Stay tuned, though, everybody, because we are going to try to do a meetup. A meetup. We put out some feelers, so we will let you know about that. It'll be at a, probably a local pub or bar. And we'll have we'll have a private room, and we'll you'll probably be able to get tickets on a little ticketing website, and we'll wa- watch. I would say stay tuned for that to our social media on Instagram or uh, if you don't see Twitter. it, that means it didn't happen. <laughs> We're trying. We're trying because everybody's like, I wish there was more time. We didn't have time either, Charlotte. We just found <laughs> out. We just found out. We know Thackeray. Yes. We're sorry. trying. Rafe. <laughs> I love that name. I do too. Um, is it Ray Fine? It is Ray Fines, right? It is Ray Fines. But it means in the U.S. Do people call him Ralph or do they call him Rafe? I think you should be able to call, be called however your name is pronounced in your country. I no, I think so too. But uh, yeah, no, but I'm people sure call him Rafe. Okay, I don't know if it's like great. You mean that's at the, great, Ralph? At the DMV, yeah, Ralph, Ralph, Ralph Fiennes. Where did Fiennes? <laughs> Fine is. Pretty sure he doesn't go to the DMV <laughs> like us. What do celebrities do when they have That's to go to the DMV? That's a good question. They have to. Because every five years, I got to get my picture taken. That's like, a really I mean, good question. You do your car and everything via Everyone mail. Everyone has but, to go to the DMV. But you got to go. It's, I feel like it's the great equalizer, but maybe it's maybe, not. Maybe you can do that by mail. Maybe they let... Like, maybe no, they you got to go in and prove Maybe yourself. they let Tom Hanks... Uh, Maybe someone comes to his house. Maybe. Or maybe maybe all of them don't have driver's licenses anymore. Maybe. Maybe they all let their driver's license expire. But still they got to get a personal ID for flying. This is inanity. (laughs) How do they fly? We need to move on. (laughs) TSA, they're going to cheat. Passport. They're going to. Passport. Yeah, but they got to get it. No, someone comes to your house from the passport agency. Oh, they will. I'm making that up. Yeah, Sometimes Can we please t- talk about this show? Sometimes I will say, though, you'll talk about celebrity things as if you are a celebrity or you know or fucked celebrities. Well, and the second part we of don't that know is true. Sh- you have not fucked well-known <laughs> celebrities. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here right now. That's true. I just haven't followed up with them. <sighs> <laughs> I, and I'm under contract to not really dis- disclose any of them. Y'all, be sure to check out our menage a trois. Several Oscar winners. Oh, Jesus. Y'all, married to reality. We freaking didn't talk. And a few AVN winners. Oh, Jesus. (laughs) That's the adult video. He's still working on an EGOT. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) It's not going well. An ECOC. 
an ecock. <laughs> um, y'all, Married with Reality. That's our menage a trois this week. We're John very, and Teresa. We're very excited. We just recorded our last menage a trois yesterday that will air next with week with Wahima. Wahima. Just from, call me Wa. Call me Wa. Uh, it was great. We, we had, had a blast. great conversation. Um, apparently, her and Poodle both like to be choked. <laughs> Don't know how that came out in the conversation. I. I think someone did tell us though that she we didn't ask she didn't admit we were talking about love after lockup she dated someone who was incarcerated again like you I could see it in her eyes yeah <laughs> I I knew we were cut from the same cloth we y'all we already we already made plans to go to those seedy downtown L A clubs <sighs> the ones that just pop up and oh you don't know really who's there. Because they're so dark. Scared for both of y'all. Yeah. Anyway. One of us will come back and tell the tale. We had a really good, she watches a lot, she kind of deep dives into the trash trash. we watch. So we had a very good time. But Married to Reality, they're an international couple, so they give a great perspective of this whole 90 day thing from their perspective. We did an episode of 90 Day about 90 Day Diaries. 90 Day Diaries. Not this week, but last week's episode of 90 Day Diaries. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now we can talk about the show. Okay. Um, let's just turn on Timmy. Let's just jump in. That's a good idea. Timmy, you are running down on the job. Timmy needs to get more, uh, I feel like needs to be more technologically savvy. Yeah, that doesn't work out for us. Um, I hit did you just knock? What if, yeah, we're fine. We're recording. What if you change the, change the things? No, it's fine. No, you can hear me. That's all that matters. So, we 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 continue with these awful charter guests, just garbage. Sapporo, garbage I want Sapporo trash beer. people. Sapporo, because it's Japanese beer. And Daisy is so fucking fed up and petty. She like, goes looked, and checks the on list. The preference sheet, and um, there's no Japanese beer listed on your preference sheet. And I'm so sorry. Well, I didn't know we were gonna have a Benny Hanna night. <laughs> but y'all didn't know. I that is so petty doing that and i would normally say that's not something but she was fed up with these fuckers yeah, i was surprised she did it 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 is now what i was even more surprised at was when they said can daisy can you pack our things and she space she said just throw everything in there wrap things around their shoes and they're gonna watch this oh yes so uh i wonder if they'll be back next season um i don't know but they'll I, probably be invited back i will say that that was not good if you're in the hospitality industry. No. But she had had it. But I don't know. Even you, you, there's a kind of a, it's, it's different than like spitting in someone's food, which rarely happens, I will say. In all of my food service time, I've never, that's not true. I have seen it a couple times, but okay. I rarely, it happens rarely. What, what happened would, would, what would happen more often than not is someone would, burn something or or do something intentionally to a customer who was shitty but you wouldn't mm. you wouldn't put something in their food because that can be lawsuit they can I mean who cares if they spit in my food you've eaten worse spit in my mouth come on whatever <laughs> <laughs> yeah whatever come anyway on. uh so the awful woman goes I mean if you've eaten your husband's asshole it's fine if someone spits think, in your dinner I don't think that is a for a lot of women, that's like a normal thing. But hey, for some men, yeah. You want to rock your husband's world, y'all? Let's not make any. <laughs> I don't want to. Do it. I don't want to tell a lot of people. A lot of women, specifically, aren't into that. Well, I don't. I'm just saying, don't knock it till you try it. I I know, but never mind. <laughs> so the woman screams out, "Where's my chef? Where's because, my chef? Like fucking Louis the Fourteenth over here." Even Marcos is like, yeah, um, they've been here for two days. Yeah. Oh, she's awful. She's awful. Um, Dr. Nipples. Dr. Nipples. Paging Dr. Nipples. Uh, they, paging they keep, Dr. Nipples. We've got, we've got a taint emergency. we got a taint. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> that was a good bit. So... <laughs> Still makes me. They laugh. keep asking for the beer. Daisy tells Ashley, like, "Don't even acknowledge to them. Don't even acknowledge them." They, Daisy and them, they finally like. I guess the guests Did leave. You say Daisy and them, Daisy and them, <laughs> they don't go to bed till four a.m. Yeah, because they've been up so. Because dinner was served at eleven p.m. No, really, it said eleven, but then when they, then they brought up the first course, like, it was midnight. Oh my god, it was eleven fifty four. Like this I don't mind being late, but that's angry. awful. This this doesn't seem fun to me. 
No, you mean to to being a person who works on the boat or being a plane or being a, Be, a being a guest. guest? I would not enjoy this. Well, I think when they're going to be up so late, it won't matter when they eat. But also, these people are used to passing out in their own sick. So <laughs> yeah, we do hear Doctor Nipples throwing up, and that made me laugh. Someone since he found out she is a what? Der- she's a special type of dermatologist. We were right. lots of wrestling. Yeah. We were right, yeah, y'all. Pumping it in. Yeah. And, but they also found out she was from Jersey. Either that or Connecticut. Got that from her accent. Yeah. <laughs> Got that. I, I said it was Florida, but, you, you know, either They're or with me. There. <laughs> They're eventually going to live there. Don't worry, y'all. We are coming to Florida one day. We are coming to Florida on our fall tour. I'm still going to talk shit about you. Just like Ohio. Yeah, and Florida's going to fuck us because Ohio, y'all, we had to pay so much money for those flights <laughs> to fucking Ohio. Because we were trying we were trying to fly something into Cleveland and it that wouldn't work. It was an ordeal. And we couldn't get out in a certain amount of time. And We looked at Indianapolis. Oh, oh it's just, Ohio just raw dogged us already. Fucking state. Anyway, speaking of Ohio, favorite line of the thing. They're going selling, and you hear, it was it Dino or the husband who just said, how did Columbus do this? <laughs> I think that was Dino. And I just went. They're interchangeable. Yeah, I don't really think you've kind of boned up lately on thoughts about Columbus. Maybe think of some other people that have sailed. the Magellan, Ponce I, de Leon. They were all awful. But they were all <laughs> awful conquerors. I think, I think. A lot of people did that who weren't bloodthirsty explorers. Yeah. 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 But I do I we had, the reason he was saying that is is the idea of sailing. So I well, guess Because what we learned in first grade in fourteen hundred and ninety two. You remember that song? I didn't ours was never attached to a song. I just only heard they a sailed rhyming and couplet. Sailed for many a days. They sailed and sailed without knowing the way. The I did not song. I do not know that song. I knew oh. in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Yeah. I didn't know there was That's a whole start. They the- sailed and sailed. I think that is n- negligible stuff. I think we already know they sailed and sailed. They sailed, yeah. That yeah. song had a lot of irrelevant material, it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, I hope they don't teach it that way anymore. I don't think. <laughs> I Actually, they don't in uh, parts of Oklahoma now because Oklahoma is such a rich Native American heritage, which is like the one thing I'm kind of proud about Oklahoma. So Very they, few. So they teach about the civilizations that were there before Columbus. Yes, that's what I've heard. That's what my sister-in-law, even in Little Podunk and Town. And then all the white people came and saved yeah, us. Then they said, and then they became Christians, and that's when they became Oklahomans. And the the they don't do land run day the anymore. Settlers had the settlers had white skin to match their lily white Christian souls. It's, you were <laughs> shocked. You didn't believe me, I think. But when Sean Polofsky was on our first main object, which if y'all haven't listened to her and Vicky, we a hoot. Oh, but Sean's uh, my from jaw Oklahoma, dropped. But she went into detail and explained Pioneer Day or a the settlement day. The reenaction of the land run, yes. which was a foot race. I tried race. to tell you and you didn't believe me. It was a foot race and you claimed what land you yes, had. I, you didn't believe me, but it was they don't do that anymore. If you were faster than Billy Bob, mm-hmm. you got more land than he did. Mm-hmm. That's why most of the Irish people live on the east side of the state. Because they were faster or slower? Irish people aren't runners. <laughs> Wow, I don't, didn't know I'm we were Irish. <laughs> we don't run. We just kind of tackle wasn't, things. Wait, wasn't Tom Cruise Irish and far from, far and away? He was. Yeah, didn't get very far. <laughs> I don't think I ever saw that movie. It's a great movie. Anyway, anyway, who cares? Uh, What's your next team? My that one? next one is. Uh, let's just talk about Ashley getting. Uh, Trashed, trashly. Oh, can we say though before that, I did not expect this tip to be twenty thousand dollars. No, they did really well. So, as somebody who's worked in the service industry, and as someone who's serviced a lot of people, <laughs> goes hand in hand. Yeah. Um, I aim to please. Does is it worth it if you got this tip like that? It is. <laughs> you somehow forget all about all the garbage. When you, especially if you're rewarded by a really good tip. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. I agree. All right. That was, that was, they were assholes, but I kind of thought they were going to leave a big tip because that is the way you do things in country club culture. 
Yes. It's all of you. You actually saw it. You saw Dino trying to give her a hundred dollars. Yeah. 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 And it doesn't make it bad. Doesn't make it okay what they did, but that's how that that's how they live. You doesn't guys. make it okay, but doesn't. But it makes it forgivable. It mm, not even that. It makes it bearable. Bear. Okay. They are bearable. Okay. When you know you're getting a good tip at the end. Like those other like others fuckers. Daisy said. Daisy said she didn't give a fuck. Yeah. Those other fuckers who left a shitty tip, they're classless. Class. Classless. Classless. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's talk about Ashley getting drunk. Um, Woo. Ashley just full on says, because we find out that we're getting a new, a new stew, and she's like, new guys are easy for me, but new girls, I'm not going to lie, it can be hard for me. Shocking. Shocking, yes. <laughs> Woo! Definitely not a girl's girl. Yeah. If you, if you watch the summer summer house reunion, yeah, she would not know. She w- wouldn't do well in the summer house. She would not. She Ooh. would not. Yeah. So y'all, Scarlett comes aboard. She's, she's fucking gorgeous. Gorgeous from Ar- She's a good girl from Arkansas. It's literally like they say. It. She's blonde, cute. Pretty sure she has like big fake boots. She's got like, a nose ring. She's. Everything, y'all. Everything th- Gary could have put in his vision board. This girl, <laughs> give this girl a week and she's going to do anal. Yeah. It's and, what Gary wants. And y'all, Ga- poor Gary, not poor Gary, because we knew this was going to happen. He's like, I'll carry your bags um, right away. Oh, and of course, boy. Ashley sees her and goes, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> and y'all, that's the reason Ashley sees her and she's like, I got to get fucked up tonight. Because she's yeah. thinking about the rest of the charter season working with that hot girl. Because she, she's now no longer the hottest girl on the boat. No, and she, um, which actually I thought Gabriella was the hottest girl, but, but, but Gabriella left. it doesn't matter. But I'm saying that was... Get, at, also, too, Ashley already is giving the vibe of I'm easygoing, whatever. And right. Ashley knows, like, fuck, I can't... T- what can I? I don't have leverage. Like Gabriella got in her own head. Right. How? What can I do to take her out? Yeah, it's going to be interesting. So uh, Ash Ashley basically kind of marks Gary as her territory, and she's like, "Yeah, yeah we've kissed a, a few times. To- we've like," and she kind of pisses on him, basically trying to establish girl code at the start. And and Scarlett's like, "Okay, okay, okay, <laughs> sure, sure," and then. Woo! Um, Gary's already flirting with Scarlett. Already flirting with Scarlett. They're, they're going to the dinner, and Ashley already tells Kelsey, I don't think this new girl likes me. <laughs> There's in, no reason for in this. In six hours. She hasn't even drank yet. This yeah. is before the dinner. There is no reason. So they are, uh, Scarlett and Daisy go to have a cigarette. I think, I think even, even Daisy says, Come, come! Why not you come with me? Because this is you Ashley's know. getting drunk real quick, and she's already starting to talk about, about it. it happened. It's and she says to the camera, she's like, "It's like he's ashamed of me." And I went, "You should be. Uh, you should be ashamed. Uh, you should be ashamed." He's not ashamed. He doesn't remember you assaulting him. Yeah. Let's like wow. We can, like when she said that, I was speechless. The thing about it is, y'all. We can only we can only call what what we saw. Two episodes ago, I guess, um, by what we heard on camera, yeah. and he said, "Get it out, get it out." Um, that that's sexual assault. Gary is who he is. Ashley is who he is. Sexual assault is what it is. Yes. So, the, it it is amazing. Now he has spoken out, and he said, "I." Uh, he said, "Oh, he did." Have trying to say, but face. I didn't read it. Um, saying say? it wasn't. He's like it, it was. It was a miscalculation on both of our parts. He of of course he's a South African man. He wasn't going to say I was assaulted. So, uh, but we can we can take it in the way that we saw it, and it wasn't it wasn't any type of consensual act. We we there was there was an absence of consent. Yes, and it, the fact that she keeps talking about it just gets under my skin. It's just. And it's so self-involved Gross. too. She's like, he doesn't acknowledge me. She calls him a whore, and then later on, she says, "Gary just thinks I'm a whore, and he can throw me away." It really is coming back to all of her own self-worth. Yeah. I just she's like you, but you can't. She has no self-confidence, but you can't feel sorry for her because she has no. 
she has no care or concern for anyone no. else. Like she is so out for her. Right. I wonder if like, they're crazy out for her. Are any Ashley apologists out there? Um, because I I'd, I'd be willing to listen. Look, even let's entertain the idea that I. So right now. What we see on the show, I believe Gary when he says he doesn't remember. Yeah. So let's entertain the idea that Gary comes out and says, I lied when I said that. I did know what was going on. Mm -hmm. Still doesn't accuse the fact that he was saying, I don't want to. We heard on the recording. I don't want to take it out. Take it out. out. He did not want to do this. Yeah. So even if he is aware of all that, it's still, she still is literally throwing herself onto him. And I mean that not in a met, like a physical yeah, way. Literally. So it's you're actually letting, literally using the word literally correct. Yeah, it's it, it's <laughs> it's still assault. Yeah. So but but that brings up a question too like if Gary doesn't say it is, then how do we treat this? Like how are they going to treat this on the reunion? I have no if idea. If Gary doesn't say this is I think we have to. We can only go. What? What? That's what I'm. That's why I'm calling it what it is. Is there's an absence of consent here, and also probably there's been an absence of um, just. Um, oh, I can't think of the word. Of um, there's an absence of prerequisite because so many men who are sexually assaulted don't report it. Right, and. A, a, an overwhelming amount of yep. men don't report it. And Gary it for a is fact. never going to go along with the fact that he was sexually assaulted. I can think of, I think one celebrity, I think Terry Crews, yeah. who reported being sexually assaulted, which was the way he spoke about it was brilliant. But like, I can't think of an, and I'm sure there are others. But as I, an adult, as especially an, men, yeah, men as adults. I can't think of another man who it's, has done that, a straight mm. man who has done that. Yeah, I've and heard gay men y- usually, and usually they are either teenagers or early twenties. Yeah, yeah, no, you're like, true, and so you're right. It's just you. F- I feel for Gary because it's uh, he doesn't know, and he yeah. just doesn't know. And he probably in his mind is still thinking it would. He doesn't have the vocabulary to call it that. Yeah, and, and I, I also think he wouldn't call. it. Do you feel like nev- he? No, he, never. He's so not a ruffle feathers never. person. Yeah, it's just. We know what we saw and we heard, and so the court of public opinion is never going to change. And the fact that she keeps acting like he got some prize by that, and he's not acknowledging that. And she's taking it in a different way. She's like, he won't acknowledge that we had sex. And I'm thinking, what if he did? What what would that do for you? What, What would that do? That she, like, won that she conquested him, that she got that's what she wanted. That's what it, that's it, feels, what it like. feels like. I mean, it really is. It's so gross. If you threw, if this was, y'all legal would be getting involved. If this was this, if the gender. Oh were my reversed. god! No, it would, would be. A, be a, they would be. They would. Edit, Gary would be gone. They would. They'd be gone. They probably edit him out of the show. Yeah, like it would be bye. But but the reason why we're having this conversation is because the lines are blurry when we're talking about. It, when the genders are reversed, it shouldn't be, mm-hmm. but that's why we're having this conversation. And all, the fact that it, we're talking about Gary, who is, like as you described, it was a wolf, basically, when, yes. you know, so it's... And Daisy even tells her later, that's my team, is Daisy tells, when they go for that cigarette, she's like... Stay away from him. Just be careful of the consequences when it comes to Gary. Smart, Daisy. And we already saw a preview, but I was like, yeah, she's not going to listen. Because I saw her talking to him at dinner. Yeah. And she was just like, <laughs> there's something Gary has. Oh, yeah. I believe it. So charming. He's very charming. Um, there, there, is, there is a scene where my- And he owns it. I just want to say there's, there's something about a guy who just flat out says to me, like, who's like being nice and fair with me, he even just says- I really just want to sleep with you. Like that's the way Gary is, and I would say, okay, because and they usually go, I really want to sleep with you because he doesn't play games. Yeah, because anyway. they're usually wasted. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm gonna need a moment after that. <laughs> We're gonna take a break, and we'll be right back. Maybe. 
Um, can I do anything for you? <laughs> that made me guffaw. Uh, can I do anything for you? And she's like, Scarlett's sitting in there in that towel, and Ashley's like, bust open the door. Can I do anything? Blah. Blah. Just throws up in the shower. Because she drank yeah. so much in that hot tub. Because y'all y'all miss the hot. She's trying to like get Gary to talk to her. Gary's doing the right thing by completely not engaging with yeah. her. Um, <clears throat> they but, then put suds in the, the soap okay, in the hot tub. Uh, yeah, you don't do that. I guess, though, after every hot tub, probably new guests come in. They probably have to drain it. I'm sure. And clean it all No, out. it's a fucking mess. But yeah, it's... So that's probably why they do it. Yeah, it's... Ugh. Because it's someone, got, someone who works on a yacht, you can tell us. I just, it's just gross. It's to got me. Dino's jizz in it. Yeah. Anyway, hot but tubs, not Doctor Nipples. Hot tubs in general. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doctor Nipples. Hot tubs in general. What you don't like a hot tub, uh, uh, especially if it's, if I if I don't know who's been in there before me. Yeah, you like know, a, like I, a group I, hot tub just feels like a jizz pit to me. And strangely, in, in that, you've I'm been usually in that. into that. You've been that. <laughs> And I don't know why that bothers you. <laughs> that goes literally. Bit. You fuck the whole <laughs> defensive line. Yeah, but I don't want not be... the whole football team, y'all. He's no, no, not, a, not whore. a whore. He's but not a whore. I'm talking about in. I don't want to lay in my own filth, though. It's very different. Okay. It's very so different. So after when you're in the middle of a of a buck cake, yeah, a or buck cake, a, or a bukake, bukake, as the locals bukake. call it. Uh-huh. Uh, and everyone's finished uh, expelliarmusing yes. their semen on you. You like to get up immediately and take a shower. No, I lay there in the throes of passion. Okay. And, and then after about five minutes, I need to go okay. get a shower. Yeah. Okay. Because otherwise you, it hardens and the guy, you, have to, you have to peel yourself off the guys. It's like, it's like crazy glue. <laughs> You're wow. like, uh-oh, we stuck together. Guess you have to go with me, run errands. <laughs> <laughs> did you need to go to Whole Foods today? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Actually. Wow. You think crazy glue is bad? Wow. You should see semen. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hey guys, do you know Roger? You know what? I He's do. gonna just be hanging out for a just while. Be here today. Um, I do enjoy a hot tub now, only because I hated them when I was younger. But now they make my back feel so much better. No, I I, I, I like. I just don't like collective hot tubs that like I just know like a whole resort has used. So like you're not gonna use a hot tub at the Hilton. No. But no. what about a swimming pool? Strangely, it's because it's a bigger area. See, to me, I would think the heat. Over a hundred degree would kill things. I don't know though. I don't know. You know what? I should talk to Jarvis over at Jarvis Pools, who used to do my dad's <laughs> pools. Wait, and ask him: Is that his surname or first name? Uh, Jarvis. I would hope it's his surname because it's weird for someone to say Jarvis Pools, and that's what—that's uh, probably his last you name. You know what? Let's not. No, I don't need to know. I don't know. God, why do I ask these questions? I don't know. I want to text my I'm brother. Gonna, I'm going to move on uh, while you're texting him about okay, Jarvis Pool. So, my one of my my next tea bag is Daisy saying, "I don't know why ever, all this stuff, stuff about toilet, all this stuff about first or second stew. You're still cleaning the toilets. <laughs> in the toilet. You're still that's Scottish. That's what I did. Toilets. I don't have a good Irish accent, but it's not Scottish." Uh, so anyway, you w- please are you gonna do your ne- next one or are you gonna? Yeah, Google? I just had to check to my brother about uh, Jarvis. <laughs> Jarvis pools actually they're located right now. If you're in Ardmore, they're located. At None the, of these people at listening the house are in that Ardmore. My dad grew up in. He had to tear down that house to build Jarvis pools. So it's literally where my dad grew up. That's where. He said it was a sad day, but he they were tearing down the house. But they got a pool store, and he called my aunt Peggy. And Darla, they don't talk now, but they'll be at her Dallas show. So um, called them over and said, Aunt Pe- he said, sis, look what I found. And Aunt Peggy, she started laughing. And 
my Aunt Peggy was basically like the mother to my dad, especially Uncle Leonard, and they were just shitsters and always doing stuff. Like, I remember one time. No, no, no. No, no what, sides. No, no, no. no. I'm going to keep start <laughs> talking saying, about. No. But they found, no, no. when they got into trouble, they found the, she would whip their ass, spank their ass with a, uh, with a flipper that you'd swim with. A noodle? Uh, no, like a foot flipper. Oh, a paddle, a, a foot paddle. A foot paddle, and so that's what she spanked. And then one day she went to whip their ass because she's pissed at them, and she said, I can't find that fucking flipper, and my dad had forgot that he and Uncle Leonard had threw it in the attic, and then he found the flipper. And ironically, Riveting. gave it to Jarvis because he had a pool store. <laughs> <laughs> I think he sold it. This did, did this <laughs> never happened. No, it did. This did not happen. No, it did. There's no way. <laughs> no, 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 no. None of that happened. The Jarvis. I had such, Jarvis a cute, is, I had I, such a crush on his son David. I am saying. So was his name David Dar- Jarvis? I don't know. I think his first name was Jarvis. So oh it's, yeah, it is Jarvis Hunt. Because it was David Hunt, yeah. It's- so Jarvis, so is it Jarvis's pool? Jarvis or- pool, Jarvis comma pools. No, it should be Jarvis's. No, it's just Jarvis pools because Jarvis with a with an S is possessive. I think it's Jarvis with the then the apostrophe after the S. That's not correct. Well, it's wrong. <laughs> You could look and see when you come to Ardmore. I always forget that. No, S. I can't. It's right I can't, by I going. Can't. It's right by going postal. The FedEx store. I find that store <laughs> reprehensible. It's right by there. Wow. So anyway, uh, we need to move on. Okay. What's sure. your next one? My next one is, um, one of the best lines. This is, it's at before the vomit, but I just love that. Daisy does, it's not necessarily the best leadership style, but what I love about Daisy is that no matter what, she just can't help but to be her. And when Ashley was still going on and on, and Daisy's talking about once making out with Gary, and Ashley tries to come with her, and she just says, all right, jealousy over there in the corner. (laughs) Oh, I love that. And Colin went, oh. And I just, like, there's something about Daisy who's able, and what is it about Daisy that she can handle, is it, she can handle Ashley because of the rank, and I don't think that's it. I think it's the way Daisy is. It is how she can she can do things in a funny way that that, are, but also in a shaming way that make the person know she their place. She does kind of publicly shame her. Oh yeah, no, well, th- that is honestly that is one of the things. It's not a good tool for leadership. No, but it's effective. It's an old school way of doing it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think I told you if I ever need to establish myself as the the one of the authorities in the room. The if dominant I'm, bottom. I'm, yeah, that too. Mm-hmm. If I ever need to, like I'm, 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 I'm music directing something or I'm in charge of something and I feel that people aren't paying attention or someone's talking when I'm talking, I'll say, uh, I'll just look at someone and say, am I, am I boring you? Or something like that, or, or like I think I said, when someone yawns, and I'll yeah. go, I'm, "Am I boring you?" Just to call it out, it's it it's not always the nicest thing, but it reminds you that I'm not, it, I I will not be fucked with. Yeah. yeah, 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 and that's what Daisy's saying. Yeah, and it reminds them that you can be smiling and still be, you can I can still be your friend sometimes. But you need to know. You need to fear me a little bit. I guess. Well, I think a lot of that has to do, though. The more I think about it, it does have to do. Wouldn't go over well if uh, Daisy was a different rank. But I don't. I can't ever see Ashley being a chief stew. Can no. You? She just doesn't. She has have no a, accountability. She has no accountability, and she has no. Um, there's just her demeanor, her attitude. Some people are just followers and some people are, can be more leaders and she's not a leader. She's not in it for, she's not in it for, not in it for the right reasons. She's not in, she's not trying to climb the ladder for a way to feel good about your job and to feel good about service. She wants to boss people around. She just wants to boss people. She, yep. if, what you, what I learned about Ashley, this episode, especially with Scarlett coming in, 
the sexual assault, the fucking the men, the being in charge. Ashley just wants to be dominant. Yep. She wants to dominate people full stop. And because her sister slept with her boyfriends. And, and it's it really, all about it's fucked her all, up. And it, it's good. It's, it's a blessing that Ashley isn't that smart. Because, y'all, if she was really intelligent, she'd be a dangerous person. Agree. She's weirdly, she's savvy in interpersonal relationships that she makes you think she's not out for you. She did that with Gabriella. She yeah. did. When she, she wanted Gabriella gone the entire time. Oh, yeah. Um, my next one is Kelsey just leans down to Daisy, and I thought this is so, so perceptive via Kelsey because she doesn't, doesn't talk, but when she does, she says stuff. She, she says stuff. Kind of like that little tiny Tim that when they say something, you go, "Oh," and she says, "Look, uh, Daisy, Scarlett doesn't deserve all this that Ashley is is throwing at her," and it's so. It's so interesting that no one on this boat is they're all, they're appalled by what Ashley's doing, but Kelsey puts herself in Ashley in oh, Scarlett's yeah. place and, and says Daisy's not surprised. No. Daisy knew, yeah, and and she said I could and and Kelly says I could feel the bad vibes that Ashley was sending out even before she got on the boat. Yes, 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 and that's the where I talk from about little Kelsey. That's where I talk about the intelligence that Ashley doesn't have is that she doesn't have the emotional intelligence to know that people are aware of that. She thinks they she yeah. probably thinks Daisy and them thinks she's being totally just a saint to her. Yeah. Oh Daisy Daisy call Daisy knows her number from day oh, one. Day one. Yeah. Which is why Ashley starts bringing in my next tea bag. Ashley starts bringing in the whole Am I second or am I third? Ugh. Am I second or am I third? She doesn't know. But uh, – and Daisy at the time says she doesn't know either. She's still thinking about it. And it's so good that Scarlett is so clueless. And but I love seeing that. That's what I was really like. When she said that, she has no experience and it is giving me life. That's literally what she said. And I wrote, you are a horrible person. Yeah. Talk about someone who doesn't understand team at all. And you, you literally – like. She, I'm surprised she didn't say anything. We'll see what happens. I think hopefully Gabrielle is at the reunion because Ashley is going to get it at this reunion. Yeah. They're all going to come for her. Yeah, she Big is. Big time. Big time. Uh, Big time. Is that Peter Gabriel? Yeah. <laughs> that may be the first Peter Gabriel song you've referenced. <laughs> so it's a, it's a weird <laughs> niche for you to be in. Well, Didn't think your British experimental pop. Peter Gabriel's British. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Maybe there I'm, she is. Maybe I'm channeling it. No, you're not. Even a blind squirrel finds a nut. There so at the very end, my last thing is she's bothering here about the second or third stew. And she's like, well, uh, Daisy says, well, I feel like you're not grasping second stew yet. Because oh, the whole great. teamwork aspect, she's like, and until you figure that out, you both are going to be the same. And Ashley's faith. Ash just, Ashley's faith. She's just chewing on her jaw like when Father Poodle says something pissing off Mother Poodle. Just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. chewing that jaw. I'll get you for that. Because you'll pay. What do, you'll pay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Mother Poodle. Y'all, you say something really bad, she gets quiet and she's like, you'll pay for that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Ain't nobody holds a grudge like Mother Poodle. No, it's true. Woo! And so, and she brings it up. She said, because Ashley tries to come back again. And she's like, but I have more experience. And Daisy says, that's what you're not getting. This is about teamwork. teamwork. You're not getting the teamwork aspect at all. This is not about hierarchy at all. And Daisy is 100% right. Because when we look back at other below decks, that's not what the stew thing It isn't. There, but it, there's uh, there's always going to be people butthurt about it. My last tea bag is how do we feel about a sequins and wig party? This next crew coming up, sequins and wigs. Yes, uh, sounds like a dream. I know they're either going to be wonderful or they're going to be terrible. We saw flashbacks. No, they're going to be looks, awful. <laughs> looks like there's drama. There's no wonderful to it. It's a girls trip and they want a ten course dinner. That's already nuts. And we see that they're all 
finally someone's recognizing the hotness that is Marcos on this sh- show. Ooh. 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 Anyway. Mama like. Mama like. Y'all, that's, that's the it. show. That's the show. That's all we got. Um, you can't. Yeah, my brother. My brother just texted. Jarvis is his first name. <laughs> I need to see the sign because if it's if Jarvis's. No, is it, Jarvis is it just Pools. Jarvis Pools? Jarvis Pools. So there Pools. is no. So he called it after his first name. Yeah. That's like saying John Pools. Well. <laughs> uh. Actually, John Poole's lived in my neighborhood. No! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, everybody. That's the show. You can go to our Linktree links on our Instagram or, or right in the show notes. Mortimer to- Pools. Mortimer. <laughs> Call, come see us live. We didn't talk about this last episode. Live show. Come see us live this summer. We still have plenty of tickets available. Um, go VIPs to the- are sold out in two locations, but they are available at others. Our website's down right now. Uh, it got hacked. We're working on you it. You can go to our Instagram and Linktree to buy tickets. Yeah, or you can look under the show notes in this podcast. It'll say, Buy tickets and have the link tree link, and you can go. Even to a Carl's a, wife can figure it out. A lot of them have already, <laughs> and we're excited to remember. If you're going to the show alone, or you're interested in going alone, especially if you use a Facebook group, or sometimes even on an Instagram post in the comments, a lot of sissies are going together and doing meetups at we restaurants. Love that. We love that, but also it's like don't if you're saying I want to go, but I don't want to go don't by, myself, by myself. Then y'all, this is I'm telling you. You will find family there. We always ask people to raise their hands before intermission. Yeah. Who's there by themselves? Two girls so, fell in love. Yes, people. At our New York show. Made out. Yeah, <laughs> pe- people meet in the VIP. Yeah. So. There was a whole, there There are, I think uh, it was, I think they met at the first LA show. They've traveled together to like three shows. Yes. These sissies. Yes. So y'all, really. I'm worried a little bit about stalking from them. If but, you, uh <laughs> Uh, we're not liable for anything. <laughs> so if you're worried about going on your by your lonesome, don't because you won't be alone. You, and also, you guys, if you join our Facebook group, the Sissy Squad, there are pages for each of those events. So you could say you can put uh, up. I'm going here. Who wants to go uh, Denver? Who wants to go to meet up again? Poughkeepsie. Even, we're not going there. We're not responsible if anyone tries to cut your head open wear your skin yeah not on us not on us not on us because we're not going to be on date with dateline even no. though we love those ladies no all right everybody i don't give a good interview after no who is that i don't never heard of them never heard never of heard them, of them. Mm-mm, not no. familiar i was no. i was never in canton never <laughs> uh it says right here nope that was nope. typo deny deny, yeah, deny 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 all right everybody uh we'll see you next time but until then we'll see you next week and anchors, anchors again, again.